हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सॉल्व दिस नाइस मैथ ओलम्पेटल जबरा प्रॉब्लम सो हियर वी हैव सी स्क्वेयर माइनस सी क्यूब इक्वल्स टू थर्टी सिक्स एंड वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर द वैल्यूज ऑफ सी सो हियर यू सी दैट दिस इज अ थर्ड ऑर्डर इक्वेशन और इट्स मींस दैट दिस इक्वेशन हैज हाईएस्ट एक्सपोनेंट इज थ्री इट्स मीन्स दैट दिस इक्वेशन हैज थ्री रूट्स सो नाउ हेयर वी विल फाइंड ऑल द थ्री रूट्स ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन so here the very first step we are going to do is first we need to focus in the right hand side and in the right hand side we have 36 we rewrite this 36 as in this form uh, we write it as 27 plus 9 okay so further uh, we make the prime factors of 27 and 9 and we know that prime factors of 27 are 3 cubed and prime factors of 9 are 3 square and in the left hand side we have c square minus c cubed so now we move these two values from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as c square minus c cubed minus 3 cubed minus 3 square and this is equals to 0 and now here we need to make the pairs of a square term as well as the cubic term so first we can make the pair of square term so the first square term is c square and the second square term is 3 square and here we take common negative sign and we get c cubed plus 3 cubed and this whole equals to 0. And now in the next step here uh, we need two nice formulas uh, in, in order to solve further this equation. First we need this formula if you have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and second we use this cubic formula this is a cubed plus b cubed it is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square so here we need these two formulas to solve the above equation so our above equation is written as in this form first we apply this square identity so we write it as this is c square minus 3 square uh, so we write it as c minus 3 times of c plus 3 and minus this is uh, c cubed plus 3 cubed and we write it as uh, c plus 3 times of uh, c square minus this is a b a is c and b is 3 plus 3 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now uh, in the next step uh, here we need to focus on these two terms and you see here we have c plus 3 be the common term so when you take common c plus 3 the remaining terms are c here you get c minus 3 and here we get uh, uh, minus times of c square and this is minus 3c plus 3 square equals to 9 and this whole equals to 0 and now in the next step uh, here uh, we rewrite this equation as c plus 3 times of c minus 3 we multiply this negative sign on each of these terms and it will be written as minus c square plus 3c and minus 9 and this whole equals to 0 so here we need uh, to add or subtract the like terms so uh, we have first we write in a square term this is minus c square and this is c plus 3c equals to 4c this is minus 3 and minus 9 equals to minus 12 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step we will divide this equation into the two cases so that the first case is you take as c plus 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we take c square plus 4c minus 12 equals to 0 and now in the next step here we need to move this uh, plus 3 to the right hand side and it will become c equals to minus 3 uh, and here we will multiply each of these terms by minus 1 so when you multiply by minus 1 uh, it will be written as in this form c square minus 4c plus 12 equals to 0 so this is this equation will become quadratic in uh, c variables and now here we easily find uh, 
the prime factors of uh, easily find the factors of this equation so that here we can apply the quadratic formula in order to find the factors of this equation first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to uh, coefficients are capital a equals to one capital b equals to minus four and capital c equals to 12 and quadratic formula is stated as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a and now here we need to substitute the values of a b and c and it will be written as c is equals to minus b the value of b is minus 4 plus minus square root of b square b is minus 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 12 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step we have this is minus times of minus becomes plus 4 plus minus square root of minus 4 square minus 4 square equals to 16 minus 4 times of 12 equals to 48 and it is divided by 2 so here uh, in the next step uh, we will uh, just uh, rewrite this equation as 4 plus minus 16 minus 48 equals to minus 32 square root and it is divided by 2 so here we can just uh, focus on this radical term and we rewrite this term as 4 plus minus uh, 32 square root into square root of minus 1 divided by 2 uh, and now here uh, we write this 32 as c equals to 4 plus minus square root of we write 32 as 16 times of 2 becomes 32 and the uh, uh, square root of minus 1 equals to iota and here we break this fraction and we write this 2 separately on both of these terms and now in the next step we have this is 2 times of 2 is 4 so we get 2 plus minus here we know that the square root of 16 equals to 4 into square root of 2 iota and it is divided by 2 so this 2 is also cancelled out by this 2 so 2 2 is a 4 and we get c equals to 2 plus minus 2 times of square root of 2 iota this is the uh, the final answer of this question because here our given equation is third order so uh, finally our three roots of the given equation are these are the two complex root and c equals to minus 3 be the one real root of the given equation these are the three roots and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos